American Idol Chicago editions. Not much happened here. There was no pants on the ground, which was sad. Okay. But uh, we did have one little fun thing happen. All right, here's the ones that got the golden tickets. We're going to, like, just talk about uh, their potential and upside. Uh, only 13 people got golden tickets, and we saw almost all of them. Um, that was over two days. I would have hated to be a Simon in that one. All right, Kaylin Epperly. She's really good look. Pretty 19-year-old with the curly hairs. Uh, she's going to make the top 40. Easy. Charity Vance. It's a good voice for 16. I don't think she'll make the top 40. Um, she's just too young. Um, that's just what I think, you know, uh, Angela Martin, she's like been there, done that, and then had the court date to take her out. Um, she has a history of almost making it, and I don't think it's going to save her this. She may go to the top 40 just because she's 28 and this is her last shot. Because, I mean, she probably would have made it last year. It really all depends on the auditions there. It's not a guarantee, though. It depends on what happens in Hollywood Week. Uh, we got Brian. Tiptoe through the tulips. I'm not even going to pretend. Slipping into a nice warm bubble bath with his thoughts. Yeah, that guy's awesome. I hope he has a good day. Yeah, uh, John Park. He's not bad. Uh, he's the Chinese-American uh, guy. Um, not too bad, or the Asian-American guy. Uh, Pays to Chase. She was the one with the asthma. Uh, 21 years old. I... There's a lot of upside with this girl, all right? Uh, she could go... She, all right, her voice in auditions was not that great. It was a little little out all over the place. I think with a little bit of focus... Remember, there's a couple of months that happened in between like stuff. Uh, she could have something really, really cool. She could make it. I don't think she will, but she has a huge upside. There's just something about her voice that is very um, interesting. Um, yeah, Marcus Jones... Um, he got four yeses. If he gets stuck in R&B, he's not going to last very long. Um, Keith Semple sounds like Brian Adams. He's not going to make the top 40. Um, Justin Ray has a huge voice. Huge, huge voice. Uh, he may blow everybody's ears out, and he may not get Yeah, I don't really see a lot of, like, huge, huge stars here. Um, but, you know, so what? It's not up to me. It's up to America. And I, I've, been, I've been pretty much right a lot. So, whatever. Anyway... Keep your pants off the ground and uh, all that other crap. All right, bye.